subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video welcome to j academy in this video we will learn how to insert a node at the front of a dll okay so we can have two scenarios suppose this is a new node okay that we create and and we give the value of 500 okay and on the right link and the left link it is null and this is referenced by temp so there are two scenarios the first case is that there are no nodes in the linked list okay that means the head is pointing to null and there are few nodes in the dll okay where you have around one two three four nodes and head is pointing to the first node and we need to insert this node okay with the value of 500 in the front of the linked list so what we can do with the first case is that whenever you want to insert the node when there is no node because head is always pointing to the first node we are going to change the address of head from null to temp so that wherever temp is pointing to head will also point to the same location okay so we have to write head is equal to temp head equal to temp so this, this means that head will point to the location where temp is pointing to so that is how we insert the node when the there is no node in the dll okay so that is my case one now in the case two what we need to do is that we have to do certain things number one so the right link of the new node has to be linked with the left link of the first node which is referenced by head okay and also we need to reference uh, we have to give the address to the left link of the first node that should point to the right link of the new node once this is done we have to change the head which was pointing to the first node to point to the second node so once it is done okay uh, to point to the new node okay so how can you do that to point to the new node you just need to write head equal to temp so when head equal to temp so this becomes the first node then since there is a link from this to this so this becomes the second node third fourth fifth okay so what i have done is that i have given a red color arrow to indicate that this link has to be removed and this blue color arrow indicates that these new links are to be made that means these references are to be made okay so what we need to do is that the new node right link should point to the where the head is pointing to and the first node that is my previous first node should point to the new node okay and then after that the head should point to the new node where temp is pointing to so let us think how to write it so i am going to first give the address of my right link which is indicated by temp to point to where head is pointing to so i am going to write temp temp's right link is equal to head okay so this arrow this link is done so in this instead of null you're going to have the address of head okay then next you need to give the address instead of this null you need to give an address so that it points to the new node so i'm going to write heads so this will be the left link okay left link is equal to temp so once it is done we got these two we need to change the reference of head instead of this it should point to the new node so we will write head equal to equal to temp okay so once it's done head is not going to have the address of this first node rather it will have the address of the new node and this link will be removed 
and so this becomes the first node then second third fourth fifth okay let us write the code okay where we will take both the scenarios so we are going to write the function for inserting at the front so void insert at front next what we need to do we need to create this uh, we need to have this temp okay reference of the temp so we'll write struct node asterisk temp and also we need to create a space for this temp so we can use a malloc so we'll say that struct node star and malloc and size of struct node so when you give this line okay it is going to create a space in the heap memory okay so now initially the what happened is that temp was only a variable a pointer variable pointing to struct node now it has got a physical existence in the heap memory so once it is done what you need to do is that we need to give the value of in, in the data section we have to give the value okay and then make the right link and the left link as null so you can tell the user okay so printf enter the data to be inserted in the dll and then you can ask the user about that element okay one more thing is that you can also declare that element so once it is done now we will give this value in the new node so we will say that the temps left link equal to null and temps is the arrow symbol right right link equal to null and the temps data equal to element so once it is done you know your node is created and the value of 500 or whatever you want to give that element value will be copied in the data part and the left click and the right link will be null so now we are going to code for the first case so what we are going to check is that we will check if the head equal to null if head equals null then what we need to do we have to point the head where temp is pointing to so we will write head equals temp we close the bracket so once it is done my first scenario is done first case is done we we'll look after the second case so else part we are going to write for the second part so second case we already have first the temp's right link will point to the head's left link or head so you can write here temp's right link will point to head and next head's left link will point to temp so head's left link will point to temp and last once it is done the link between the new node and the first node is formed so that they can reference one another we can move from the new node to the first node which is the previous first node we can change the address of the head so head will point to where temp is pointing to so we are going to write head equal to temp so once we do this our code is done and that is how we can insert a new node in front of the linked list 
so guys do subscribe like and comment in this video and thanks for watching let us meet in the next video subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video